Hello my little dumplings. Today I'm going to be doing a very quick beginner's tutorial for you guys on how to download Sims 4 save files. I will talk about that if you're interested in that. Hang in there and stick around. Alright guys, so Sims 4 save files. Basically what that means is a simmer has gone and created a whole game file. They've gone through all the different worlds, they've fixed them up, they've done lots of really awesome things and they've kind of revamped the world. Um, the one person that comes to mind, because the, the one person I should say that comes to mind with, when I think of this is Lil Simsy. Lil Simsy has been doing this for a long time. Now, there are lots of other people who do this. Um, she's just the first one I think about, but there are tons. If you go on YouTube and look up save files, you will find tons of different simmers who have done that sometimes they restructure the name of the town i went to the wrong place sorry about it and then, uh, basically sometimes they restructure the way the towns look they retheme things they just do tons of really cool things every time there is a new game pack update they release a new save file the only reason i'm making this video is because i know that every time there's a new a pack simsy little simsy goes through and creates something awesome and unique for the world she may not have it out for a little while because of course it takes time to create a new world but you know when she does now you'll know how to do it so what you want to do is go where it is to download right here right here this thing this is download where my little hand is download that now it's right here so you just give it a little heart because you want to show her you love her we all love you, little Simsy. Then we're going to click that blue download button. Make sure it turns green. You're going to see on the lower ha uh, left hand of your screen that little pop-up happened, and then this happened. So basically what's going to happen now is this is in our downloads folder. So what you want to do is you want to right-click on this, open it up. See right there? See where it says save 000400? dot uh save so the reason she made this of 400 is because that number represents how many save files you have in your game the best way that i can explain this is every time you create a new family or whatever uh not a new family every time you create a new game or a new save file in your game so like say you have one family and you play them and then you're like Ugh, i'm bored i'm gonna go to start a whole new version of the game with another family that's another save file so they're labeled one two three four five so the reason she labeled this one 400 is because you probably don't have 400 different save files in your game and so that's why she did it if you do have 400 in your game then you can just change that to 401 you just want that to not coincide with any other number of save files so let's go and we're gonna do a little cut so I'm sorry, I didn't tell you that you're going to right click, then you're going to select cut. I already did that, so I'm not going to select it again. Then you're going to go to documents. Then you're going to go to electronic arts. Then you go to go to Sims 4. Now, normally when you're putting mods in your game, you'd go to this mods folder, but this is not a mod. This is a save. So you want to go to this thing right here that says saves. Now, if you look here, these are all my different save files that I have in the game. I'm going to highlight one of them just so you see how it works. See this one right here? That would be one save file right there. Every time you see this little right there and then anything beneath it, that is considered a save file. So what we want to do is we just want to right click and we want to select paste. And then we're going to see the Simsy save is there. See right there, that little 400. The reason why it doesn't have any bump outs is because we haven't started any families. Each one of these families kind of represents like a, a, a bump out, I guess. I'm not sure, but there it is. It's right there. So now we're going to boot up our game and we're going to go check this save file out. So the good thing about save files is you can actually have as many of them as you want in the game. So if you want to go and get another save file from another simmer, you can have a bunch of them in your game and you'll, they'll all just act as separate save files. So I'm going to go up to the game and show you this a little bit better. All right, you guys, so we're game is booted up. This thing is just a mods thing. I have a mod in here. So if you have mods, that's going to show up. I'm sure you know what that is. So what you want to do is go into load game. And so see all these different 
games that we have, these are all different save files. So that's a save file, that's a save file, that's a save file. And here is the little Simsy save file. So that is where you would start your game and then you just go in there and so if you want, say you wanted to start a game and you're like, I wanna play in the little Simsy save file, we are gonna go in there and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so here you go. We are in the Simsy save file. Let's go to, oh yeah, guys, I didn't buy the Eco Living. I totally forgot about that. So let's just go to, I just, just wanna say, let's go to any world. Let's go to, what is this? Let's go to Windenburg. So, if you want to play in this game, whoa, oh, I forgot this. I haven't been on this since the update, so pardon me, guys. Sorry about that. So basically what you'd, what you'd have to do is you'd have to either go to an empty lot or you'd have to kick somebody out of their house and then start there. So you'd want to go through all the different worlds and look at them because she's gone through a lot of trouble to like rebuild. She's rebuilt businesses. She's rebuilt lots of stuff. I highly encourage you to download her save file. It's really, really good. There's like a restaurant over here. There's just a bunch of stuff. So if you want to have a sim in this world, you just pick the world you want to live in. You find an empty unoccupied house, but if there is not an empty unoccupied house, you just go to like, let's just do this guys. And you'd go into, oh, you know, you'd just go into move in and you'd have to move in with them. And then eventually you can go into the menu after the fact and kick them out or rehome them somewhere else or whatever. It's a, it's a good way to get a really nice house without having to pay for it. It's life hack for the Sims. So that is basically how this all works. And now this is her you know, save file. So now you have it in your game and you can have a bunch of awesome houses and community lots that you didn't have to build. And the Sims, you might like these worlds better if you see her version. Uh, I know there's lots of other versions, like I said, so you can go on YouTube. In Anytime a Simmer makes a Simsy or a Sim save file, they'll let you know about it. So just go through si uh, YouTube and, and look up other save files. But there you go. That's how you get this in your game. I hope you guys like this video, and I'll talk to you next time.